I thought about this one quite a bit, and this is how I approach it. I look in the university calendar, I look online, and I study the description of the courses. I then go out to the library and get the textbooks out, and this is in usually way before the semester starts, and um, I keep reading until I think, yuck, I don't want to do this subject, or this is really what I want to do, and then I continue reading. So I will have read all of the textbooks uh, before the courses start, and I've done that already. I, I finished about a month ago um, for three subjects. Uh, I've even revised the whole of first year Latin, which I'm taking again uh, in a matter of two weeks. Um, but I spent a lot of time with biology books and what uh, I won't go on about that. Um, what do I do? Um, I also then sometimes, for clarification, email the lecturer and ask them, you know, are the books uh, prescribed or recommended or how do I go about this or what about if I don't like killing animals in biology uh, uh, prax uh, and get answers back like, well, there are a lot of students who don't do that sort of thing and it's okay, we can accommodate you. So I get clarification. I know what I'm doing. And then I get myself the first couple of weeks in the course and I think either yuck or yeah, I'm in the right place. I've done a lot of switching. I've got a degree from New England and I pulled out of so many courses and happily landed on my feet in wonderful things like bioscience and Greek and Latin and all sorts of wonderful things. Um, so I give myself flexibility and latitude uh, and I make sure uh, what I'm doing is right and suitable and in terms of my goal. Um, I start my preparation even a year or two before. What will I do next year? And I've always got my eye on these things. I sneak into lectures and, and I listen and I think, oh, this sounds good or no, thank you, it's not for me. Reality testing, that's very important for me. And I'm talking as a mature student. Uh, okay, um, I think I'll So I, I, I have a much more like, a, I, I don't look that much in advance, so I won't prepare a year, but um, I mean, I have a lot less flexibility with my subjects, so I can't exactly pull out and do another one. Uh, sorry, I don't have a lot of flexibility. Um, so, for example, I'm gonna, like, I would look through required texts, uh, see, what, see what is required, see what's recommended. I would go through and I would buy all of the required texts. Um, I'd only buy recommended if, the if, if I get to the semester and the teacher goes, oh look, you could buy it, there is some really good stuff in there and I recommend you buy it, but you don't have to. But if they don't say anything, I won't buy it. Um, once I get to the actual start of semester, uh, I take a look through all the unit guides, see, uh, and, you know, um, see, see, what, um, see what, what the assignments are, when they're due, you know, how, much, how much work do I, do I put into it? Is it worth 5% and I've only got to answer one question or is it worth 40% and I've got to answer several points within a 2,000 word essay, for example. Um, I also write down on my calendar uh, the date that it's due, or if it's due in a week, what week it is due, so I know that it's week 12 or week 13 or, or whenever. Um, and also, in the event there is a mid-semester exa mid exam, because I am on disability, um, I approach the unit convener to let them know that because I am with disabilities, I need extra time for the exam, and then final details are then communicated in the lead up to the exam, uh, because you can't always get a hold of disabilities when you want them. So uh, that's that's one of the perks of, of being able to be approachable as a a human being. Probably for me, the first thing um, that I do which yeah um, is to look. Before I decide on doing a particular subject, I normally look online for the, any past unit outlines, basically to see um, what assessments are going to be given, because I know most of the time, I, well, I will have looked on the handbook a bit and figured out whether or not I'm going to like the subject, but the, yeah, one of the most important things for me is just to go onto the unit outlines and kind of find out, am I, are these assessments going to be what I'm looking for, and especially with, when it comes to teamwork, how much teamwork is there actually in there, and how much flexibility is there to be able to choose my own team so that I'm not stuck with people who don't want to be doing the work, that I might be able to find a group that will actually be supportive and be able to yeah, get me the distinctions in HD and after. Um, and then after I start the semester, 
Um, yeah, I start from day one. I this yeah one of the best tips I've ever been given um, was to start from day one with the um, exam preparation. So start from day one with writing up notes and um, yeah, making sure that you don't get a week before the exam and have to write up on your own notes. So yeah, those are the two probably for me the two most important things that I do um, before like fully commencing.